This video is brought to you by... Man, we ain't hard to find, man. We downtown Baltimore, man. The heart of downtown, man. 215 West Saratoga Street, man. Come on through, man. Show some love, man. Yeah, you can't miss us. We out on the block with it. We right between Park Avenue and Howard Street, man. Come on through. Until you out of town, man. You want to get with us, man. Come on, come on through. Put this cool green on. Let everybody know, man, y'all with the city, man, that y'all riding with us, man, that y'all foot us, man. Y'all support what we got going on down here, man. Because this right here, man, it's going worldwide, and it's coming straight out of Baltimore, and it's going to be bigger than Ralph Lauren real soon, man. It's coming straight out the city, man, and it's this what it is. And once you put it on, you're going to see what I'm talking about, man. This the real deal. Come on down, man. If you can't come through and shop with us, shop with us online. Go online right now, man. CoolGreenClothing.com and shop with us, man. What is going on, YouTube fam? This your boy Tony two times, and we back with another episode of the Baltimore Way, man. Before I start, be sure to tap that like button. Definitely watch this video to the end and hear the full story and all the details in the case. For all the day one fam, welcome back. Y'all already know it's all love. Thanks for tuning back into another episode. If you're new to the channel and you're feeling the content, feel free to subscribe. Definitely hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. Let me give you a little disclaimer. It's a requested video. Everything in this case is public information. It hasn't made the trial yet. And all parties involved are innocent and to prove the otherwise. Let's get right into the story. When most people jump into the streets and choose to trap for a living, the goal usually is to find a block that's jamming, a product that's going to move, and the most important thing is a consistent plug that can keep up the supply and demand. Once you get a constant flow, it usually helps everybody eat if that's the real motive. But it all depends on circumstances and environments. I used to wonder how people like Big Meech allegedly went state to state to set up shop with only minor problems. But it's because first they got the money, power, and respect, and showed love, respecting another person's backyard and how they rock. But we are in a different time and age right now, where putting yourself out there as the connect can get you put in a blender. Say for instance, you go OT to a place you are not familiar with, pull up on the block, let it be known you got that work. Everything could start off as love because you are beneficial at the time, but you could be getting put in a trick bag whole time. The person you think you are building a business relationship with might cop a few times before they say, you know what? We don't even know, yo. Let's line them up and take everything. Now you become a sheep amongst wolves and on this episode of the baltimore way we will be discussing a man that came to baltimore to set up shop but it all went bad according to sources a 21 year old man named zion fats thompson back in 2022 had found the golden ticket in the trenches somehow getting linked to a few people out in cali to get grass back home to baltimore to figure out the whole operation zion would take a trip to the west coast to see where everything was being grown at and to set up future plans for a shop back home in the city after returning back from his trip a man flew in from cali with a suitcase full of grass to sell to zion everything went smooth the transaction went good and everybody was happy with the newfound connections a house in west baltimore on 325 Ferro street had turned into a trap house after being vacant and squatters took over the owner a man from pg county filed a request to remove the people and get it boarded up after someone od but little did anybody know the vape would end up playing a part in a tragic incident when a plug back in the west coast hit zion up to set up the next trip this time they decided to send a 35 year old man named miguel soto diaz he would touch down in the city on May 7th, 2022, to link up with the young man. The plan was to see if they could expand the operation in the city. But on the morning of May 8th, a FaceTime call was made from Baltimore to Cali from a burner phone, where allegedly Zion showed Miguel with duct tape over his mouth, hands and legs zip tied. Everyone seemed confused at first, thinking the business relationship was going good. 
But shortly after hanging up, they received a text message stating Poppy said send 200 pounds of grass and $50,000 so he can make it out of the city okay and don't contact the police. If not, it's all over. They even received a picture of Miguel scrapped to a chair. His peoples told Zion they was going to the feds to show them everything, but he called they bluff. Stating back, y'all not even legal. And if you go to the feds, tell them y'all sell grass. But little did they know, it wasn't a game. Later that day, firefighters were called to put out a blaze. They responded to a vacant house on 325 Farrow Street. As they got the situation under control, they realized there was a gas can, shell casings, and a body in the house. No one knew what happened. And as an investigation started, the detectives realized the house was vacant with no ID for the victim. That same day back in Cali, two of Miguel's associates reported the man missing. They told California police a man from Baltimore named Fats contacted a young lady on social media to grab some grass. They built a relationship to traffic the product. The ATF was stepped in, used IG photos and facial recognition to put a name to the person, 21-year-old Zion. The woman associate also gave agents rain camera footage and images from when a young man visited the West to see the operation. After Miguel's people told the whole story, even from the FaceTime call, it was called a plot for a ransom. They alleged Zion was seen on footage buying a prepaid phone the same morning, letting it be known he already had the plan in motion. When Miguel landed, the young man contacted the people back in Cali from a new number, and which was later called the ransom phone. The young lady showed communication with Zion on May 7th to pick up Miguel from BWI Airport. With this information, ATF reached out to Baltimore City Police, who told them while investigating the crime, they couldn't identify the victim, but realized he had been shot and the house torched. Then they tied the whole thing together, the victim's name and the last suspect. A $8,000 reward was put out for any information on Zion's whereabouts. Detectives linked the ransom phone to the young man, showing he was in the location at the time of the incident. Eventually, Zion would be picked up, charged with extortion, conspiracy to possess and distribute narcotics, and other charges as well. The case would go federal, but at this time, Zion hasn't been convicted, and he is innocent and to prove the otherwise. The neighborhood was in shock about the situation, as they stated a big percentage of homes on that block were vacant, and a lot of things took place because of easy access. The city was supposed to come and board up the property on May 16th, 2022, eight days after the hit, but would never get that chance after getting the call that it would be on fire. Rest in peace to Miguel. I send my prayers and condolences to his family. When you play in the streets, you definitely got to know not only the players, but the game. Miguel and his peoples were bold. They probably thought they was helping somebody make money so things would go smooth. Because I wouldn't dare go to another state knowing I got weight to link up with nobody. You are asking to get finessed. In a perfect world, they could have been partners and made a lot of money off the grass. But unfortunately, in our city, if you are an outsider, you are a target. It's not about the end game. It's a cruddy, I want it all now mindset. When you are amongst wolves, you got to know how to move. The Cali plugs were way too trusting. And in Baltimore, trust will get you hurt. And showing too much will get you got. Always move in silence. Because wolves don't show their teeth until it's time to eat. But hey, that's the Baltimore way. Man, this is a crazy situation. I remember when this first happened, the first thing I was thinking about, how they even get that comfortable to even have Miguel in Baltimore. You see what I'm saying? But when I did my research and I see how everything allegedly transpired, it seemed like Shorty hit them on social media, was able to figure out the whole operation because they was too friendly. He flew out. He seen how much they had. He seen everything allegedly, so he baited them in, typical Baltimore fashion, got them comfortable, he rocked them to sleep. They came out the first time, they showed him some product, he copped that. 
But the second time, allegedly, he already had his mindset what he was going to do. You feel me? And I don't understand how people move like that. You know, you got to be careful when you go into these environments. In a perfect world, you can make money. But now people hungry. People moving a little different, man. But y'all already know, this is another episode of The Baltimore Way. Definitely leave it in the comments. Remember to be respectful. It's your boy Tony two times. I appreciate you if you made it to the end. It's all love, fam. I'm out.